you guys. Yes. Oh my goodness. I spent so many of our Nook Island tickets going on a mysterious journey, searching for the perfect villager to come and join our island. And I'm so excited about who I found. It is not one of the newest villagers, just to, you know, not keep you guys in that much excitement and suspense. But it is definitely a villager I am really looking forward to having because they have a very special meaning to me and we have never had them on our island before. And I absolutely need to go ahead and get their picture because I am obsessed with collecting pictures of these certain types of villagers. But I am going to actually leave it a little bit of a mystery who this villager is going to be until tomorrow. Because today, oh, do you guys see that? The winds above Wildberry are giving us a balloon. All right, today we have a lot of work to do on Wildberry as usual, because I definitely want to go ahead and tidy this place up. It is getting closer and closer and closer to Toy Day, which is absolutely fantastic. And I really am loving that because we are doing our daily adventures in Wildberry Island, I'm finally seeing some progress on some of the dreams I have always had for this place to come true. All right, including, what is this gift from the Winds Above Wildberry here? Hmm, hmm. <gasps> Iceberg flooring? Oh, Winds Above Wildberry, I love you. All right, that's actually extremely exciting because I did need that iceberg flooring. And I have a ton of other DIYs that we actually need to go ahead and look at together. Look at that! So if I get one more snowflake, then I will actually be able to create the iceberg flooring, which we are so going to try putting into our house with some of the other cool decorations we've gotten lately. Definitely favoring that. I also learned how to make a green bamboo mat uh, from one of the mystery islands, the Nook Tour Islands, that I went ahead and visited while searching for new villagers. So I'm excited to like build that at some point in the future. Oh, that actually might look really good in Blanche's yard, where we're kind of going for that bamboo forest theme. Ooh, okay. That's really wonderful. All right, here, let's go ahead and sit down for a second in this adorable cute little peach chair. And then we'll look through the rest of my pockets so I can show you guys. You can't look in your pockets when you're in the peach chair. That makes me so sad. All right, so I can show you guys what else I have. I gathered up a bunch of ornaments because it turns out if you just grab one of those festive trees and shake the life out of them, then you will actually get plenty and plenty of ornaments. Uh, and Octavian taught me to make minstroni soup last night, which is so cool. So I have no idea like what that actually is going to entail, but some hot soup on a cold day like this sounds amazing. So let's actually take a peek at that. Maybe I'll make some of that too. Oh, look, okay, two tomatoes, one potato and one carrot, got it. Maybe we'll make a bunch of that. I think it's the first soup we've had that doesn't need flour too, which is kind of cool. But we could try making a bunch of that to give to the villagers today, because I think that'd be really fun. And then I found a whole bunch of other DIYs, including this giant ornament DIY that's going to be perfect for decorating around our little winter market area. And this giant ornament was actually taught to me by Cranston. So the villagers are also passing out the DIY instructions for the seasonal items, which is such a relief to know because I thought I needed... Oh, look, we can already build it. Yes, because I thought I needed to go ahead and have... Um, only the Winds Above Wildberry, the balloon DIYs, go ahead and give you the new recipes. But it turns out the villagers can do that too. And then I also got this oil barrel bathtub from one of the Nook Mile Islands I went on searching for a new villager. And I have no idea what that looks like. I didn't even know that was like a thing that existed. So let's see. Let's go up and see what the oil barrel bathtub looks like. I'm kind of dubious about this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm really dubious about this. If you have a campfire and an oil barrel and two stones, you can make an oil barrel bathtub. Yeah, I think we're okay for now, but good to know that we have that option for potentially some need in the future. And then finally, I'm really excited about this DIY that I found. It was on another vine island. That's the third vine island in a row that Cotton has taken me to. I already have the vine crown, the hanging vines, the cave, which we haven't built yet, but I definitely want to. And we have the mossy rock. So those are some amazing things. However, one of the coolest new additions that can absolutely transform a room is actually the glowing mossy stickers. Is this going to be the glowing mossy stickers from Deidre? Glowing moss headband? <laughs> okay, not what I was looking for. However, I didn't know you could have a glowing moss headband. What? 
That sounds really cool. All right, let's haul bunny hunkers. I gotta see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> you guys, we've gotta make this and give it to Octavian like right now. Oh my goodness. Is Octavian home? Octavian is home and he loves talking about aliens. That is so perfect for him. All right, let's come over to Sheldon's little like forest DIY. We are so going to be building that right now to go ahead and gift to Octavian. It's so cute. It reminds me of Pikmin. I've never seen this. I didn't even know this was a thing that could happen. Oh my gosh. All right, let's give it to Octavian. This is perfect for him. I love it. Octavian, my friend. Grandpa Octavian. Thank you for teaching me to make minstrini soup. Oh, hey, Sheldon's visiting. Hey, neat, you came by to visit Octavian too. Too Cool, novel. Take it easy, have a drink or something. Make yourself at home. What am I saying? This isn't even my house, novel. All right, I'm really happy to see that Octavian's getting along well enough. Oh dear, I can't get over there. <laughs> that Octavian's getting along well enough with the other villagers that we can actually go ahead and all hang out like this, potentially. Yo, you guys. Okay, I literally just pushed them into like the forbidden corner. Okay, this is actually kind of cute. I'm gonna get a little picture of these guys hanging out, talking about aliens. Okay, that was really cool. <laughs> I wish I could have gotten a picture of that. All right, I think they're stuck over here though. So we might go ahead and I'm gonna turn off the guide for just a minute. We might make them react towards us because this is really cute. I could totally see Sheldon getting roped into having to talk to Octavian about, like, all of the alien, um... Alright, there's those two. Come on down, little alien. All of the alien conspiracy theories. Or maybe not even conspiracy theories. Who am I to doubt Octavian? I kind of feel like I want to explore space again. And actually, surprisingly, a lot of people have been requesting adventuring in Spore once more. And I still want to explore in No Man's Sky now that there have been so many updates. So Octavian may be our guy to go ahead and talk about space with. Gosh darn it. All right, well, we're also talking to like Octavian's distant cousin, the octopus. The umbrella octopus. And it looks like, come on, I really want to give. Okay, okay, go Sheldon, go. Come on, Sheldon. Oh yes, I can reach him. Good to see ya. Turns out Sheldon just stopped by too. You know what? Being surrounded by friends like this is just what I've always wanted. I'm so happy he's happy here. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna gift him this headband. Please wear this, cause it would be amazing. Where is the headband? Right here. Glowing moss headband. Are you kidding me? A glowing moss headband. I think I'll try this out now. <laughs> it's perfect! Oh my gosh, it's so perfect! You guys, I love it! I love it so much! Oh, okay, this makes me so happy. Alright, let's back up a little bit. Oh, I never noticed that the little alien has like a, a cute little belly. Alright, Grandpa Octavian. Yeah, these guys totally look like they're ready to talk like alien conspiracies. There's not enough room in this building for everybody, which is kind of cracking me up. All right, maybe I can look at them from over here. I just love, I love this. All right, you two are precious. There you go. All right. You know what, this is a good sign because I've actually been thinking I need to work on my special project that involves all of the copious amounts of bells I totally wasted on this really cool item, which reminds me I need to check on the Nook shopping today. But that is so fantastic. I can't believe, ooh, ooh, I need that. I need that so bad. And Jimmy Snowflake, yes. Iceberg floor come my way. I think that that is definitely kind of like a vlogmas thing to be able to make an iceberg floor. There we go, tiny beautiful sculptures. Ah, I'm so happy you guys. Here, we're gonna go ahead and pick these and I might make a couple pumpkin soups really quickly so that we can go ahead and give some of the villagers some pumpkin soup. 
Uh, and we're gonna go past the ice rink where I put out a, another set of tights that uh, I think Julian actually gave me. And we're gonna go ahead and we are going to craft up some more of those new amazing DIYs we have just gotten our hands on. So that would include, let me unfavorite a few of these. Okay, I would love to make the cave, but I need to get some, my hands on some stones. Um, that's gonna include, don't need the leaf stool right now. Uh, let's craft the iceberg flooring, which looks amazing and I'm so excited about. And then let's go ahead and we're gonna craft, let's see, the giant ornament, which needs 10 red ornaments. And I think will be a great decoration over by our little market. And then we're also going to come in and we're going to see if we can customize this. So can I customize the giant ornament? I can. All right. I think I would want to make it blue. I think that that'd be really pretty to make it blue. I hope this looks cool. We'll put it down in just a minute when we actually go. Did I hear the winds above Wildberry? No. Uh, ooh, but I did hear this guy. All right, give me just a second. Got it. Yay! Oh, we're really having some of our icy... No! Our icy dreams come true! All right, well, I definitely need to go ahead and get myself a net. So we're going to do that, and I need to get myself a new shovel. And sometimes it's just faster to sell to the boys than it is to go ahead and make it yourself. Especially when I need to save my rocks. My precious, precious rocks. For building caves. I wonder how many caves I should sprinkle around Wildberry. It'd be really cool to put some footprints in the snow outside the cave. <gasps> oh, look at this drum set, boys. How much? It looks so cool. I would love for my villagers to play it. Tim Panny drums, huh? Okay. <gasps> That's more expensive than the laptop I just got. Okay, I don't think I have that many bells, boys. Nor is today the day about building bells. Today is kind of like about cool new DIYs. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some of these to them. Olive flounder, box sofa. Uh, I need to put the nursery tree away safely. Festive reef and giant ornament I will go ahead and keep. And then what is this? Oh, that's my iceberg flooring. Yeah. I'm going to keep my iceberg flooring and I'll sell the pound cake or give the pound cake away. All right. Thank you very much, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think I'm good without anything from here for now. Also, my Nook Miles are blinking at me. Ooh, earn bells by selling items. Got it. Catching snowflakes. Got it. What kind of fish does it want me to catch today? A blue marlin! Oh, I don't know. Ooh, set sell for adventure. Family-minded parent! Oh my gosh. That's cute. That's from Kappa's Adventures, I think. All right. And then have I actually caught a blue marlin before? I don't know if I have. That might have to be like a new fishing adventure we try. I have! Okay, so they are active all day long, basically. So I have indeed caught blue marlins before. Good to know. I don't think I have the statue of them. So it'd be kind of cool to try to get that. But I want to work on our market some more today. All right. And just in case we run across any villagers, let me go ahead and make some pumpkin soup. Oh, so cute. Look at this pumpkin soup. I actually have an acorn squash I need to cook in the kitchen and I've been trying to figure out like what to put in it. I wonder, I was thinking about just roasting it with some sweet potatoes, but it might be really good with a good quinoa bake. Making some nice quinoa, add some of that vegan Parmesan cheese. My mouth is watering now. Oh. And we really need to build a proper cafe of some type because I feel like one of the things that Wildberry is increasingly becoming famous for is all of the artisanal food made from fresh local ingredients that we have been able to whip up. So I definitely want to work on those too. All right, there we go. Phew. Okay, so let's come over here. And if I was going to put the giant ornament down, as like a big decoration. It'd probably honestly be over here. So it's time to move the boys pictures and this stall. And we need to make more room over here to actually have like stalls put down. 
<laughs> for decorations. And I need to see if I have other stalls I can get my hands on. Ooh, okay. And I wonder if I can actually get the fence closer to this spot. Let me pull this back one. And can I get the fencing any closer? Hmm. No, it doesn't look like you can get the fencing any closer. So I wonder if it'd actually be better to have the stall face. Okay, let's see. Yeah, face this way. Ooh, actually, this might work out really well. And then I push that back. And you can kind of see, yeah, this might actually work out really well to do the stalls facing towards us instead of away. And then we can go ahead and put the frozen fencing just as an accent. Kind of here and there. Nice, nice. Okay, I like it, I like it. There, look at that, that's really cute. I think I could even get away with maybe putting down a couple objects over here, kind of as decoration. Um, oh my goodness, let's see. And maybe, oh, maybe the clothes. Maybe the clothes that we're thinking about acting like you can buy. So like the checkered muffler, maybe we'll put it down here. And then what about the fox hair sweater? Okay, I honestly, I don't really like this sweater. It sort of reminds me of that really scary sweater that um, like, I don't know, was his name Freddy? Like where's the scary Freddy guy who kills everybody? So we're not gonna put that on our island. We'll try the flight jacket instead. And then I think this will be the spot where I will leave out the winter items that the villagers bring me, like clothing wise. And then uh, any villager who kind of wanders in over here will say that they're actually, oh, I forgot to buy the <laughs> tools. Okay, that's a little frustrating. But any villager who wanders over here will go ahead and say that they are actually coming by to go ahead and maybe purchase something. I don't think I can put clothes up here, unfortunately. However, I think I can go ahead and drag like this bag over here. Yeah, okay, and then maybe we'll find some little clothing piles that I can decorate on top of that stall. This is starting to come together. Sky, hi, Mama Sky. Good morning, and here's hoping it'll be a good day novel. I'm about midway through the Reactions Handbook. It's such a great book. Oh, that's so cute. It's like she's trying to learn how to have like a wider range of emotions. Mama Sky, would you like to have some pumpkin soup to warm you up on this cold day? Jester's mask. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so she gave us a jester's mask. Let's actually see what this looks like. You know, I'm... I'm gonna say that, hey, that's because she's studying the reactions handbook, right? So it's just related to the fact that, you know, she's figuring out how to use all these different reactions. Not the fact that she thinks we're some sort of jester. Or that we're like pulling a joke on her. All right, there we go. And then let's see how the giant ornament looks if we put that down, because I'm pretty excited about that. Oh my gosh, Cranston! <laughs> Is this a case of like go big or go home? Because this is hilarious. Like look at this thing. It's gigantic. All right, here, we're gonna go ahead and we're actually going to like change out our delight. Let's do that for laughter because this absolutely is making me laugh. Look at the size of this thing. Cranston, oh my gosh. Okay, I, I think that this might actually be a little too big where it is at. However, I don't really have anywhere else to put it just yet. All right, maybe I need to move this moss. And then maybe I can like pull it over a little bit so people can try to get around it somewhat. All right, this tree is probably gonna have to move, which sucks, but it may not even be a festive tree, so we'll probably be okay with that. <laughs> but look at this, you guys. Talk about feeling like you're suddenly in the festive spirit. Oh my gosh. And look, Sky is enjoying this area. Oh, we should put down a little end table. And then if we catch the villagers over here, give them like some hot soup. We'll put out all sorts of like yummy food items for them. Oh, I'm so excited about this. All right. Meanwhile, 
I want to take a quick peek and let's actually see if we have something we could decorate on that stall and if we have more stalls really quickly. Because if not, I need to order them from the Nooklings ASAP. Let's see. My Valum tree. I can't wait to put that somewhere special. We do have a dress mannequin. Yeah, we do have two more stalls, so we'll move those. But I don't think we need the dress mannequin for the area that we're working in right now. What else could we potentially put out? There is a cute little tent, but I really like our fire pit more right now. And then... Let's see, we could have a fortune cookie cart, but I think we'll go with like a different theme at the moment. Something that could go on top. I'm pretty sure, isn't there a folded, I, you know, I think there's a folded pile of clothing, but oh, well like the, the rotten towel basket gets a little closer, but I actually think the folded pile of clothing I'm thinking of just might be part of, um, might be part of pocket camp. Because sometimes I, I play so much Pocket Camp, sometimes I get Pocket Camp mixed up with New Horizons because I love the objects in both of them. I'm kind of obsessed. Oh, we can put the throwback containers over next to where we're having our little train go by. Oh, look, and it's all of our little models. And sure enough, we do not currently have a model of the Marlin. Maybe that's something we'll set a little gold to do. Okay, these are all going to be on the wall, so I can't get them down. And then these are a bunch of cute clothes, which we can totally dig through to put more things out to potentially give to the villagers, including all of the caps. Oh, maybe we could put a paperboy cap there. Yeah, let's look for like a little warm hat. Okay, so like a knit cap or something we would want them to wear. I only have one snowy knit hat, so I want to keep that one. But is there something else we could give the villagers to be like, hey, this might keep you warm in the winter? I have a lot of paperboy caps, so we could give them a paperboy cap. Also, this knit hat. I love the knit hats. <laughs> you know what? I might order another one it, then just like to keep that out. Um, we do have a bunch of fox fur hats too. Let's put out the one that makes everybody look like a kiwi maybe? You know what? Why not? We're going to put out the one that makes everybody look like a kiwi. All right, let's decorate this area real quick. This little tree is probably going to have to go. But actually, if I move the tree before it grows up, it probably won't lose any of its festiveness. If it does grow up having festive tree or festive lights. Okay, so we might want to work on that for sure. Also, can I display glasses? <gasps> you can! I didn't know that. Okay. Let's go ahead and see. We have Cranston's photo, two stalls. Sheldon's photo. So we have a towel basket. Decorate door, drop item. We have a sewing project, which I think kind of fits the idea. And I might want to recolor that. And then we have the fox fur hat. That's cute. Okay, I think I definitely want to put down the sewing item. Also, oh, you guys, the winds above Wildberry. Okay, is it safe or is it too many flowers? If we go now, oh, just in time. The flowers almost ate it. And what do we have in here? Is it a new DIY? It's 5,000 bells. You know what? That's actually useful right now. We actually were struggling because I'm going to need a whole bunch more recoloring items in order to go ahead and carry on with the projects that we're currently working on. And I need a shovel. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go get a net, a shovel, a whole bunch of the customization items, and then we'll put a few more of these pieces down, and we would have made, like, huge progress towards this goal. I'm so excited. All right. How are you doing today, boys? Just saw you a little bit ago. I'm back again. Um, I'm going to sell that scary sweater. And you know what? We'll sell a few of our pumpkin soups because we're kind of busy today, so I don't know how many people we're going to run into. Um, and then... In fact, also all my pumpkin soup. And that should be good. And yes, look at that. I'm telling you guys, Wildberry is going to become famous because we're selling like farm fresh ingredients. Field to table, as they say. All right, let's get this colorful shovel. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the colorful net. As my beloved husband Chip says, we're done with boring colors. No longer getting boring colors in our life. 
Uh, what's this? Oh, a little red sparkler. Oh, and you know what we could do? I could probably just grab some random items from, uh, like, what's in my inventory that I'm ready to go ahead and, like, get rid of. And we can wrap it in some wrapping paper. That's a good idea. And then once we have it in the wrapping paper, we can go ahead and put it on the stalls. And if a villager walks by, we'll just give them whatever the item is that I probably will have forgotten what was in there. So it will be a surprise. All right, let's check the items over here just in case. I don't see anything in particular I want right now. All right, thank you very much, boys. Yay! I should probably build a small construction table over, or like move one of my construction tables over in the market. But for now, I'm already over here. Oh, and there's Prince Julian. All right, let's go ahead and craft something. This is so fun. Okay, wait, did I need to craft? I don't think I needed to craft anything. I needed to like customize everything. All right, let's customize. And we've got the stalls and the photos to customize. All right, so it seems like we can't customize the... Ooh, this is really cute. And do I want to leave it like natural or should we go with dark brown? I feel like we should recolor the stalls to be dark brown. And then I don't know if all of the stalls we want to keep like a consistent theme using all of these pretty lights or if I want to kind of like change it up a little bit, do some poinsettias. Okay, the poinsettia one doesn't really work. The gingerbread, I think we'll keep it the, the theme consistent. Other than that, I think, hmm, natural, custom design, would that look better with dark wood? Eh, we'll go for the natural color for now. All right, one stall customized. Let's get the other one done. And it's too bad because I could have sworn I would be able to go ahead and customize everything with the sewing kit. But I think we might need to stop by and visit Reese for quite a bit of uh, some special projects tomorrow, friends. Just saying. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So excited. Oh yeah, and I need to move that tree. All right, um, should I eat a pumpkin? Wow, I've really removed a lot of my quick access to fruit trees that I used to have where I would just go ahead and like eat some fruit really quickly to move things. All right, there we go. Excellent, excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and move this tree so that we don't lose it. Let's eat this. Nice. There's my shovel. There. As much as I love that tree, it's just gonna be like, unfortunately in the way for a lot of people. I'm kind of considering maybe we'll just like not let it grow into a big, big tree and I can just leave it as a cute medium tree right here. We'll have to see if that works out. And then I wanna put another stall over here, which means I need to move this holly bush. It is kind of in the middle of everything. Oh, and apparently I didn't need to eat a piece of fruit to move the small tree, oh well. You learn something new every day. All right, and then we'll put down another Christmas market stall right here. Clearly I'm gonna need a little bit more room. So I'll pull it over onto this side. Let's see, can I get around? There is a speaker right here that I will reveal for just a second. Here we go. See, now we're talking guys. Now we're really starting to make it look like a market. Nice, nice. I, I still might have to like adjust where some things are placed. I might have a little kitchen hiding back here that we'll make cookies at. I need to move a whole bunch of these flowers, but we're coming along. I've got to think about like how I want it all laid out. I think I might want to scoot everything over one more, but that will hide it like behind the trees. Hey Sky, isn't this Snowy Day fun novel? Toy day is soon. Of everything about this holiday, I think I'm most excited to exchange presents with everyone. I have so many gift ideas that I don't know what to go with, except you. Yours is all picked and wrapped out. But don't think that means I expect a lot in return. Whatever you get me is fine, Novel. Oh, Sky, you're so sweet! Alright, let's come down and review. Hmm. Maybe I'll move the market over one like this. 
That might be a good idea. The trick is that I didn't really think about my tree placement <laughs> too carefully before. There we go. And then you can walk right down the center of the, the market way. Whoop, and Julian's thinking about something. All right, we'll wrap up with Julian today. Ugh. The every the in, in, uh, NUI, I always get that wrong, of everyday life is getting me right now, Butterbean. It's like, what am I doing here on Wildberry? What am I doing with my life? I need to do something exciting, like a treasure hunt. <gasps> yes, okay, let's do a treasure hunt with Julian. That's the perfect way to finish off the day. All right, you guys. How fun. All right, Julian. Thank you very much. We're going to do it. You guys ready? Let's see what Prince Julian has gone ahead and hidden for us. All right. Oh, six minutes. Julian, did you really hide it in a very difficult to find place? Look at our little Christmas market. Oh, it's so cute. We still have so much work to do to try to make it nicer. But I think we're doing pretty good. All right, come down here. Not over here. Let's check over on Cranston's side of the island. How terrible would it be if he hid it in the gyroid fields? Because I don't dig the gyroid fields up until we fill it up. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a new spot there. All right, let's keep going. Come on, come on, there's the little ants. Okay, not over here. It's probably over by his house, but at least we're checking some of the really hidden away places first. All right, let's put this away. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Need both my hands so we can run. Is it over here, Prince Julian? Okay, not over here. This is the little waterfall I built behind Cranston's house, by the way. I really love it. Might have to hide some cute things up there one day. And we might get down some of the white lilies and white hyacinths for... Oh, is this it? Okay, let's see. It's the present! We found it! For decorating, by the way. The white the white flowers for decorating. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and get back down to Prince Julian and then call this a very successful... Ooh, a fossil. A very successful and wonderful day here on Wildberry Island, my friends. Heck! Ooh, and apparently there's a lost item, too. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a huge day. Every time I'm like, oh, I won't go too long this time, but oh well, I hope you guys are just relaxed and you know to expect for our daily Wildberry adventures some time where you can just un unwind, relax, <gasps> cheer on the winds of a Wildberry. All right, let's see what's inside, Julian. And then I need to go get that winds of a Wildberry gift. What could it be? What could it be? Well, look at that, your own baseball uniform. <laughs> Thank you, Julian. All right, all right. That was cute. And then let's get this thing from the Winds Above Wildberry. And we have really worked well on the market today. I'm very proud of the progress we've made. Boom, got it. All right, and let's go ahead and see what's inside. And we've got an old sewing machine. Oh my gosh, that's actually really perfect to maybe put over by the Able Sisters at some point. Or, like, it definitely gives me the vibes of something we could have had over here. Since we can't actually put down the, um, unfortunately, we can't, like, recolor the sewing project, I think we'll go ahead and probably get another hat, maybe from the Able Sisters to put over here, but we'll leave the sewing project for there, there for now. Phew. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this very big adventure. It was so much fun. We made a lot of progress on our little bar kit. I'm very happy with it. We have so many cool new DIYs that we're learning, and they look absolutely amazing. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.